Well, we're going to check the District 1 results right now, where Jonathan Jackson was elected tonight, uh, projected winner uh, to replace longtime congressman in the district, Bobby Rush. Let's check in with Dorothy Tucker. She's been covering that for us tonight. Dorothy? Well, Joe, they are breaking down the tables. They're putting away the chairs. All of this comes after a big party celebrating the victory of Jonathan Jackson. The next congressman for the 1st District is a husband and a father of three adult children. He's a businessman, a partner in a Chicago beer distributorship, but he was also the national spokesman for Rainbow Push, the civil rights organization that was started by his father, Reverend Jesse Jackson. Jackson beat 17 opponents in the primary and in a district that is predominantly Democrat, it is no surprise he beat his Republican opponent, Eric Carlson. Jackson fills the seat held by longtime Congressman Bobby Rush. Rush did not endorse Jackson in the primary, but tonight he passed the mantle and African statue and promised his full support. Jackson made a point of thanking the man he called Uncle Bobby, but his deepest praise was for his hero. He said to me in an interview, his father, Reverend Jackson. God has saw fit to let him be here today, and that warms my heart. So I thank God. I thank all those persons that prayed for him, prayed for my family. Um, he's done so much for so many for so long that I'm glad he was able to see this. Now, I spoke briefly to Reverend Jesse Jackson, and he said that the feeling was mutual, that he was very proud of his son. Joe, Erica, back to you. Okay, Dorothy, thank you.